and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I'm Susan. I'm your hostess. What's for supper, y'all? Well, tonight we're splurging. We're having some barbecue ribs from one of our local places here, and I've been sticker shocked, y'all. We were paying $18 for a full rack of ribs. They went up to $24. That's $12 a serving for me and my husband, y'all. And we're eating at home. But uh, I pulled out some home canned pork and beans. We're going to have some barbecue baked beans to go with. And also some sweet potatoes from our pantry. And it's going to be delicious. And this is probably going to be our last time eating ribs for a while if the prices don't go down. Now it's still cheaper than what we have been seeing in the big box, big box stores. Um, I think the last time we priced ribs was a two pack of ribs for 60 bucks. So <laughs> I haven't priced them lately. They may be more than that now, but, uh, I wanted to share that with you that we're having this wonderful supper tonight. We don't do this very often. I know we're coming up on the Memorial Day weekend and this is going to be our early Memorial Day meal. And you're going to be seeing that you're seeing this on Monday afterwards. I'm a few days ahead on my videos. I'm trying to be able to have a Monday through Friday video ready so that I can work on the next week's video. So we're we're getting slowly getting ahead a little bit on my videos, getting them uploaded and ready to go for y'all. And my garden is growing, y'all. We've had two days of rain. Or two and a half days of rain and uh, everything is starting to really come up I noticed that my carrots are starting to come up um, I have some other seeds planted I don't even remember what I planted at this point I, I just planted and planted and planted but we did plant some potato slips and uh, sweet potato slips and we did uh, get some tomatoes in the ground and they are looking wonderful we got some cucumbers with buds on it. You'll see all that in this video. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to the kitchen. What's for supper, y'all? I got a Vidalia onion sitting here. I got three jars of my homemade pork and beans. Some Worcestershire sauce. Some good sagra molasses. Some barbecue sauce. And it really doesn't matter what kind of barbecue sauce, y'all. Some yellow mustard. You can actually use spicy mustard in place of that. Secret ingredients. Well, secret ingredient would be my can cowboy candy relish. And a little bit of my bacon that I have cooked up. So let's get this party started. I'm going to wash my jars off and get them in the pot. Love to hear the lids pop. Turn light on the subject. Now you can do this in the oven. I'm going to do this on top of my stove because I'm putting some ribs in the oven that I bought earlier. a half a cup of my molasses
get all that goodness in there. I've got, I think that's a third of a cup of barbecue sauce. And I may add a little more barbecue sauce after I taste it. It's between a third and a half a cup I usually use. I'm going to use a tablespoon of cowboy candy to heat it up. Well, I can't get my squeezer to work. Let's try it again. There we go. And about a tablespoon of mustard. And I didn't put my other end on my spatula. of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to take out a couple. I'm going to put this bacon and cowboy relish back in the fridge. Oh, I forgot my mustard. i got to put the mustard in the barbecue sauce back up. give this a stir and go ahead and turn it on so it can start cooking down. Now if you don't want to use real onion you can use the powdered onion or you can use the onion flakes whatever you want to do. Let me get my knife. Here's Old Faithful. This knife is old. It's solid construction. It looks horrible, but it works so good. And we're going to get this onion started. Get some of this hair off this end of this onion. To me, the onion really makes the beans, y'all. And the better the onion is, the better the beans. I really prefer white onions over all the other onions. I usually buy the yellow because they're cheaper. We're going to get this onion down to the very nitty gritty. All the way up to that root because we don't want to waste none of that onion that's some of my civitan onions y'all and 
that looks like a lot of onion. It's probably about two cups. You could go with less. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's your, your preference, your taste. You make it your own. But I have just found over the years my mother's recipe and she would a lot of times substitute brown sugar for the molasses or honey depending on what we had on hand and she didn't put the cowboy candy in hers because she probably didn't even know about it back then Rinse my hands off. I'm going to get a spoon, get this stirred in. that I chopped but I'm telling you we like onion I got some nieces and nephews though that don't like onion we'd have to use the powdered stuff in there and put it in just to hide it from them oh well, these are uh, some sweet potatoes we bought last year and I got a few little spots that I'm just going to take off a, a couple of them because they're starting to dry out a little bit and we're still getting we're still using sweet potatoes and this has been over six months in my pantry I store them in a, a cardboard box and I store them in a dark cold room And I make up a couple of extra ones because our dogs love sweet potato. So they'll get a little treat tonight while we're eating our supper. They actually look pretty good. My mother always said to cut the ends off the long potato, sweet potatoes. So I always cut the ends off. I think it just helps them to cook. And actually, I need to turn my oven up. Sweet potatoes, I cook at 400 degrees. And because those ribs are wrapped, it's not going to really matter the temperature. So we're going to get that temperature turned up. We have blooms on our pickled cucumbers, and there's a nosy chicken in there. Our red potatoes are looking good. That's our birdhouse gourd. Our butternut squash. Our loofah. Some of our Amish paste tomatoes that are in grow bags. And we used a, a tarp folded in half underneath them to kind of keep the grass down between the plants. <laughs> and two cattle panels tied together as a trellis. Here's 
Here's our sweet potatoes growing in tires. And we have another set of tires with more sweet potatoes. Well, that's it for today, y'all. Well, y'all, that was supper, and I really enjoyed it. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this video with us. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Don't forget to leave a comment. We love to hear your comments. We have a, a different methods of contact for us. You can contact us via email. Just put in there the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch in the description box, and uh, I will answer back. Or you can send a snail mail to our post office box. Everything's listed below in the description box. Thank you for watching.